Hi guys, so this is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci here. Hopefully this ain't too loud. Um, this will be the first time I've actually tried to set up like this. So please bear with me. Alright, so with these gator lures, we just got them in. And like I said before, we're not new to these lures. But at the same time, they started carrying a lot more variety than what normal stores will carry. So, we decided to get more of them in so we can go actually go out and test them as well. Because obviously, I know and I believe in them as much as I do. I'm going to have to go out there and put some fish on it. I mean, that's just another excuse to go fishing. I know, I know. Blame me. Blame, blame the lures. I'm going to blame the lures. And so, um, just a heads up, you know, with gator lures, you can reach them at their phone number, which is right there on the case. Please let them know that we sent you there, you know, because uh, a lot of times um, they don't know where their calls are coming from and stuff like that or how they were referred. And it's always good to hear that wherever their product is being advertised, that it is working. You know, it's always a good thing for any business uh, to appreciate what, what uh, working for them and what's not working for them. So it really would help us and help them know that this is working. So, um Again, too, that is their direct line. You can check out www.gatorlures.com and or their phone number at 908-647-6200. All right, so now that you know how to reach the guys directly, you can also call us at Hard Lives Bait and Tackle at 361-334-2171. And we are here six days a week. Same thing. All right, so let's get to the bottom of this. These lures, like I said, are pretty awesome. Now, the packaging is, is pretty pretty well put together. There's a piece of tape here that you're going to have to get off before you can start you know, opening it up. Not unless you don't mind ripping up the packaging. But when I'm traveling with new lures and stuff like that, I try to keep them in the package. So just in case I have a brain fart, which normally happens... <laughs> I'll admit it. Uh, I want to be able to know which size of lure I'm actually using without having a scale. Um, once you start getting into where there's the three ounce, the three and a half, the two ounce, or whatever, um, and as you can tell, look at that reflection. That is pretty clean right there. Um, that's that's pretty awesome. But right now, what I have in my hand is the two L. Is a few of the major improvements that we love about this lure is because when we used to buy some other lures on the market they didn't have a split ring here or if they did they were so weak we could literally pull them apart right there and then also too on your hooks when I try to test them as you can see the indention right there and on my thumb too what I'm doing is I'm trying to squeeze the hooks together and let me show you a little example. Give me just a second. All right, guys. So just to kind of give you an example, I've got a new hook from another manufacturer. And it's actually a neck size bigger than this hook. And they're about the same thickness. I mean, they're off by almost nothing of, in thickness. Let's see if I can get them side by side. Kind of awkward. I mean, they're, they're right there. They're right up in the same one. But this hook... Like I said, the one on the gator lures, I'm putting into it. I mean, you can see the indention it's making into my flesh there and there. And now I'm going to do the same hook right here. And I mean, look at that. I've already done bent it over really quick. And let's move it the other way. Look. So if it's able to be bent that way, just imagine how much pressure it would take to open up that hook. So that's a lot of times what you're going to run into with a bunch of lures on the market is that they're not built to withstand a lot of pressure. Now, if you're going to baby the fish all the way in, then, you know, this might be your kind of hook. Me, personally, I'm going to get them in as quickly as possible because I'm trying to catch as many fish as possible as quickly as I can per hour. That's why our numbers are crazy because we don't waste time on trying to fight a fish and finesse it in we're trying to get it in as quickly as possible so we can do that and these guys take us seriously i mean we've got everything is improved everything is beefed up and it's like this all the way through their um 
their gear. I mean, look at this. That's that's the two L. That's the smallest lure we have in stock. Let's go ahead and open up this three ounce. Hooks also come in handy too. <laughs> oh, that's all right. So this is their three ounce and from it looks like the only difference is the thickness of the actual spoon itself see this one's quite a bit thicker than this one but they are the same size that's pretty pretty good looking right there if I don't say so myself all right let's go to their five ounce All right, let's get this five ounce open. Wow, it's a big spoon. Oh man, look at the color on that. That is pretty, pretty sick right there. That's some 3D effects. Holographic, yeah. Whatever you wanna call it. Needless to say, that is gonna be some fish catching lure right there. All right. So, and going from my 2L, my 3 ounce, to my 5 ounce, there is a big difference in size, okay? Let's go ahead and get this. Well, the reason why I wanted to bust out this other 5 ounce, instead of going to the 7, was just to show you how their powder coating colors and the holographics are also in play as well. The first one I showed you was the gold one. Now, they've got it in reverse. Look at that. That's, that's pretty sick looking, you know. And again, like I said, these are all heavily built. These are your tank lures right here. They're going to take a beating and keep on catching. So, there's that. And now let's get to the 7 ounce. Wow, look at that thing. That's awesome. Oof. Yeah. Yep. The screen even shuttered. <laughs> that is some clean, clean, clean work right there. Look at that. I guess that was from when the hook was sitting in there. It was rubbing up a bit. So, but wow. Look at that. That is nice. And again, you know, some heavy duty built lures right here. Oh, it's lovely. So these are the gator lures. I didn't bust out the three and a half, which you know what, I'm gonna go and add in real quick. All right, so right here we've got the three and a half ounce spoon and I went ahead and did the powder white just so you could check it out. But what I wanna do is just show you how the different sizes of the, the lures increase with their weight on certain sizes. But the main thing is the size of the tackle that it's actually built with. These guys are really taking it seriously on what kind of terminal tackle they're using to build their lures. They actually care that you're gonna land your fish instead of lose a fish. So that's the three and a half. And right there, actually. All right guys, so now you have them all lined up. You got your two L, your three ounce, your three and a half, a five, a five, and a seven. Now here's some more information on the hook sizes and swivel sizes. Um, I know I've been kind of throwing this back and forth a little bit, but, excuse me, the swivels on the 2L and the 3 ounce, they are rated for 150 pounds, and these are stainless steel swivels by Roscoe. The split rings are number 8, and they're a 120 pound set. So, that takes care of your swivel, your split ring, and now your hook. Your hook is a number 3 yacht by VMC and they are the two extra strong hooks and I'm telling you these these things are beast I mean look at that that's how much pressure I'm putting in I'm trying to get them bent and they will not bend so that's your smaller sets and as you can tell the size difference on the swivels 
isn't much but it actually is when we go from our three to our three and a half ounce on the three and a half ounce your swivels and your split rings are rated for 225 pounds your hook is the next size up a 4 aught VMC and this same hook will roll from your three and a half and your five ounce up to your seven ounce so I'm telling you guys these things are phenomenal lures they're gonna be your go-to setup for when you want to go for anything we've even taken them snapper fishing however this is all before I got into the videos of what I'm doing now but needless to say I will get them back out there, I will get them tested, and I will catch fish with them. If not, I'm going to keep going until I do and find out why they don't, if they don't. But I can guarantee you they will. These, these lures are phenomenal. They got so many different variations as you saw in the other video, and I'm going to repost them right now so you can see the variations that are available. I don't have them all in stock. However, if you do call the number right here, the other thing is too, these all have trouble hooks on them. They come with J hooks as well. And on the J hooks, those are pretty stout. The trebles here in Texas, but I'm gonna be trying them with both. We're gonna get them in the J hook and we're gonna get them in the treble and see if there's any hookup difference on it. And, or maybe, you know, the, it, it floats a little better or, you know, the little details that everybody wants to know about Allure. We also have a drone coming in and we will be able to follow these through the water as we are working them and hopefully we can catch that attack on film which will be awesome so again just a side note we are over 1600 subscribers we need 2000 so we can do this giveaway of the sx raptor by avid reels a tackle industries vexen inshore series nine foot rod and we're also spooling it up with the Jerry Brown Holocore, a $700 plus rod and reel combo up for grabs for free as long as you're subscribed. And you may be subscribed at the time that we start entering the names because I did see the other night we lost nine subscribers. Um, sorry to see them go, but at the same time too, those that are with us with the long haul or for the long haul will be greatly uh, rewarded. Uh, thanks again, and if I don't happen to see y'all before Christmas on the beach, y'all have a Merry Christmas. All right, guys. Laters.